How to copy BMW BDC3 key with CGDI K2. Hey everyone, this is Hussein, and I'm thrilled to welcome you back to Bobji Motors, your trusted hub for automobile diagnostics, programming, and all things car tech. Before we get started, here's a quick but important disclaimer. This video is made purely for educational and informational purposes. Everything shown here is meant to guide technicians, learners, and enthusiasts. We strictly follow fair use guidelines. All images, clips, and references belong to their respective owners. Please always follow your local laws and manufacturer recommendations when working on any vehicle system. Now, let's talk about something that's exciting many technicians right now. The latest CGDI K2 update that adds free support for BMW BDC 3 key copying. But here's the question. How exactly does the CGDI K2 manage to copy a BMW BDC 3 key without requiring activation or points? And what makes this update so special? Stick around till the end, because I'm going to break down every step and share a small pro tip that will make your key copying process smoother and faster than ever. The CGDI K2, now upgraded to version 5.5.0, brings a powerful new function, full BMW G Series BDC 3 key copy support. That's right, this function is completely free. You don't need to worry about activation codes or spending your earn points. This update also adds a new NCF 295 e-read and write capability to the MCU programmer which is a big win for technicians who handle microcontroller-based key systems regularly. Now, let's talk about vehicle coverage. The new function supports BMW G chassis vehicles built between 2020 and 2024 that use the BDC3 key system made in Hungary. What makes it even better is that the CGDI K2 supports both new blank keys and use original keys. You can write to either type, which is perfect for workshops that handle secondhand key refurbishing or replacement. But one small warning, the CGDI K2 currently supports two types of BDC3 keyboards. It will not work with the BDC3 board that includes a longer chip. So always double check your key type before starting the process to save time and frustration. All right, let's move to the main part, how to actually copy a BMW BDC3 key using the CGDI K2. Start by opening the CGDI K2 software and navigate to More Functions. From there, select the BMW BDC3 Add Key option. This is the gateway to your key programming feature. Before you go any further, make sure to check the wiring diagram carefully. It will show exactly how to connect the key and the K2 device. This step is crucial because a wrong pin connection could interrupt data communication or even damage the chip. Next. Carefully remove the original key shell. Take your time here. Modern key shells are often clipped or sealed tightly. Then, connect the original key to the CGDI K2 device using the dedicated remote generation cable. This cable ensures the key's data can be read safely and accurately. Once everything is connected properly, go ahead and read the original key data. The software will process and display the information on your screen. Save this data file. It's your backup in case anything goes wrong later. Once you've read and saved the data, it's time to move on to writing. Insert your new original key. It could be a completely blank one or a previously used key that's been reset. Then, use the write function to transfer the saved data to this new key. The CGDI K2 will handle the encryption and synchronization automatically, which means you don't need to perform any manual coding afterward. In just a few minutes, your new BMW BDC3 key will be ready to function exactly like the original. And that's it. The process is smooth, efficient, and free. A perfect example of how CGDI continues to add value for automotive technicians through regular updates. For anyone dealing with BMW G Series models, this is a must-try feature that can save both time and money while keeping your workshop competitive. Now, coming back to that question from the start, how does CGDI K2 make this process so easy and cost-free? The secret lies in its updated internal algorithms and MCU handling system. By improving the read-slash-write protocol for the NCF-295E chip, 
The K2 eliminates the need for paid activations while maintaining precise data communication between the key and the tool. In short, it's a smarter, faster system that works out of the box. From my personal perspective, this update really shows how far CGDI has come in understanding user needs. Freeing this key copy function is a bold move, one that gives technicians more freedom and flexibility in their daily work. It's these kinds of updates that keep the brand relevant and reliable in a constantly evolving diagnostic industry. Before we wrap up, here's a fun fact. The BMW BDC, or Body Domain Controller, is not just about key access. It also manages communication for lighting, climate, and even driver assistance functions. So when you're working on a BDC key, you're actually interfacing with one of the car's most advanced electronic hubs. If you found this walkthrough helpful, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about SiegeDI offering this key copy function for free? Drop your comments below. Your feedback helps us understand what topics you want next. Let's set our community challenge. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments to keep the momentum going and help this video climb the YouTube leaderboard. Hype this video, share it with your fellow technicians, and don't forget to subscribe to Bob G Motors for more in-depth guides and the latest automotive updates. Until next time, keep learning, keep exploring, and as always, happy diagnosing.